Hello, this is a demo of Contabile's new profiler, which you can find in the view menu and profiler. Um, what this does is it keeps a history of all the load metrics from Contabile's audio engine while it's running. And you can use this to go back in time and see what might have gone wrong at a particular point in time. So just to show this, um, I've got a few states set up here that show a few different things. Just start a media player going and you'll see the load start to ramp up here um, you can see that if i switch states and if i switch songs it would do the same thing it shows a bar here first of all to show that there was a state or song switch there and then you can see that there was a spike here so i can actually go back now click on this the profiler will pause it'll still be capturing information in the background but the display is paused and you can see here i can have a look at this and you can see that addictive keys used about 80% of the C of the time load there okay so it's an easy way to go back and see what was actually happening you'll see there's a few other things happen here if load ever spikes above a hundred percent it'll highlight them in red and these black bars are where the audio engine was stopped or the profiler was disabled okay so that's the basics of how it works you can go back in time to see what's happened back here you can see I've been testing all sorts of things here trying to set up this video okay so just to show you again, so you can get back to real-time data at any time by just unpausing. And this is what's been happening while it was paused. You can see now if I switch to this heavy state, this plugin here, Elephant, is a uh, plugin I use for load testing. You can see that I can dial the load up and down here. So if I dial this down, you'll see the load comes right back down again. And then I can make it spike. Okay, so you can see all this stuff in the profiler. All these details here are captured for each interval. So if I was to go back here, I can see that the CPU load was 3.3%, the system load was 20%, I've got a video recorder running at the same time, which is why that's so high. Okay, and again, pause to come, to come back to real-time data. Um, other things you can do with this, you can, let me just stop this. The other things you can do is you can actually save uh, this out to a, um, to a file which could be sent to me if I need to analyze something or you can open a previously saved one if you wanted to go back and review something um, and then there's a couple of options on this as well so in the options on the diagnostics page you can set the detail level here so I'm going to just switch this to detailed you can also control the history length um, just bear in mind with this that the history is kept in memory so um, if you set this too high and a high detail level you're going to be using possibly a fair amount of memory depending how many plugins um, and so forth you've got loaded so I'll switch that to detailed now and we'll come back here and you'll see now um, that these groups can be expanded so for instance if I uh, start this plugin again start the player again and turn this up okay let's stop that and now let's go back and have a look at one of these you can see for instance I can dive into this and see True Pianos, the actual execution of the plugin took 27% out of that. Same with this one. You can see all the steps that Contabile is doing to set up this pl plugin for each audio cycle um, and the loads that they're taking, average and maximum. Um, it's important to remember that each one of these intervals is um, uh, a number of audio cycles coalesced into one second intervals. So sometimes you'll see plugins from two different songs in the one spot. Um, that's simply because the song switched happened sometime within that interval. Okay, that's about it. This will be available today uh, in build 3541. Thanks guys, bye.